Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Sophie and I do a lot of fashion and homeware related content on here and over on my Instagram, I'll leave my handle onto the screen so that you can follow me on there. But guys, welcome back and as you've guessed from the title, today's video is a haul which has been a hot minute. I feel like I haven't done a proper haul on my channel in ages and you will have seen from the title that today's video is a huge Primark haul. They've got so many cute bits in for spring and I just wanted to share with you what I've picked up recently. Um, pretty much everything that I got here is over the last like two, it is over the last like week or so, but I am gonna go back this week because I've already been seeing on TikTok loads of really cute bits that were not there when I went the other day. So uh, be prepared for probably a part two with everything else that I'm gonna pick up. But I'm going to get straight into it. Obviously, it is a Primark haul, so I cannot link anything into the description. Um, and just for reference, everything that I got is from the Primark in Nottingham. Def so definitely check out your local store if there's anything that you like. And be quick, because we all know that Primark absolutely loves to sell out and then never restock the stuff. So the first thing, though, I wanted to share is this little set. Um, so you guys know that I absolutely love the seamless sets and I got this one in the sale which I'm really confused about because obviously this bright nice pink is perfect for like spring summer but it was literally £3 for the leggings and £3 for the top or £2 for the top in the sale so yeah um, these are perfect for me I literally live in these and they're just so comfy for like around the house and stuff um, but yeah I'm going to get straight into it now and I'm going to start off with like little um like accessory bits and some bits from Primark Home. So first thing I got are Shock. You guys know, if you watch my previous videos, I live in these sets. Um, I'm wearing one right now, literally the comfiest things and they've, ha and they've got so many cute new colorways. This, these two, this pink and this blue, literally obsessed, but yeah, how cute are these? Uh, they're £6 for the set, so I just think you can't go wrong. And like I said, I absolutely live in them um, because they're literally just the comfiest things ever. Um, so, yeah, I've got all these different colours. And then I also picked up these little pyjamas. Um, basically, these tops I absolutely love because I, lo I like these for not just pyjamas as well. Like, I would literally wear this with just, like... Um, a little like flannel shirt over the top um, and it's got like this double layer so it's like a built-in so you don't need to wear a bra with it but yeah I picked this one up just to be a little pajama set because I just thought that was super cute the shorts have got this little like lettuce hem frill um, I went for an extra small in the shorts because uh, they don't have a drawstring and then I went for a small in the top they had these in a few different colors but they're only it was like a mint green one but it only had the top so I'm gonna wait and see if I can get the bottoms to go with that but the tops were 350. I don't know how much the short I don't know how much the shorts were, but I think they were a similar price, maybe like four pound. But how cute is that? Then I picked up, I've already taken it off the label because I actually used it in the styling for one of the outfits. Um, but just this little bow, bow to go in your hair. I just thought that was so, so cute. I think they had it in black as well, but they were the only two colours that I've seen so far. But it was literally £2.50 and I just thought that was adorable. But yeah, you will see that in a styling um, a bit later on. And then from the beauty section, I picked up some of my Holy Grail eyelashes. I, I buy these every time I go to Primark, so you would have seen them before. They are literally £3, so nice and fluffy. Um, so yeah, I just always stock up on those when I'm in there. And then... I picked up from the beauty section, so I got this mascara, which is the Wonder Lash, which I think, looking by the packaging, is a dupe of the Benefit They're Real, which I used to wear all the time. So yeah, I'm excited to try this. It was literally three pound fifty, um, and yeah, I think in one of my, um, I'll show you this in one of my vlogs, and we'll have a little test and see how it works um, over the next couple of months. I'm gonna go and do like a bit of more of a Primark beauty haul and get some of the dupes and see how they work because I have seen they've got some of the dupes of the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte Tilbury um, cream blush and bronzer uh, but they didn't have them in stock when I went in but yeah I want to try those and then I also just got this um, 
like buffing and blending brush which i just thought because it's like a little miniature it was literally two pound but i think it's good for when i'm traveling and stuff so yeah and then from primark home i picked up this cute little easter bunny um she's holding a little easter egg she was three pound fifty they had these in two different sizes but i went for this one because i just thought it was going to be really cute on my um easter table piece to go with my little bunny jars and stuff so yeah she's so so cute then i also picked up this donut vase which is the same as the ones from h&m home um a little bit smaller I will talk you through this in one of my vlogs about the sizing because basically I've got all three of the H&M home ones um, but the mini one seems like a little bit too small in proportion to the others so I'm hoping that this one is going to be a perfect size to sit with the other two um, but it was literally £3. A um, little bit annoyed because I've just noticed it's like, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, it's cracked at the back um, so I am going to go and change that for a different one but yeah £3, literally buzzing with that. And then the last thing from the homeware section that I got are just these little candle holders. Um, just thought these were going to be really cute to go in our bathroom or our kitchen. They could go with the colour scheme in both. And they were literally £1.50 each. So, Okay, and now it is on to the good stuff. Um, so I'm going to start off with, this was something I was going to sort of leave till the end, but I'm just going to get it out of the way because I'm absolutely buzzing with it. It's this denim skirt. Um, so you guys will have seen these denim maxi skirts all over TikTok and Instagram. They are absolutely a massive trend for the spring summer. And yeah, I just couldn't wait to get my hands on one. This one was only £18. Um, the only thing I do would say about it is obviously the slits are at the side and I think I would have preferred it at the front but you will see I've tried to like turn it on its side and I'm actually quite impressed I think it looks quite nice and like it's a little bit funky because it's got both of the different pockets um so I'm thinking that would be a really nice way to style it um I went for this in a six it is a little because they do come up a little bit big I would say especially around the waist um but yeah I'm absolutely obsessed I love this like the color of the denim and for £18, I feel like you literally can't go wrong. I have also tried styling it as a dress, so like pulling it right up and doing it up over the bust. Um, and it's something I'm a little bit excited with. I'm going to have a play around with it and see how I can style it. So expect to see that on my Instagram. But yeah, £18 um, for such a trend piece. These are like ranging up from places like Pull and Bear and stuff to like, to like £40, £50. So yeah, I feel like I'm really, really happy with that. Then the next thing that I picked up is these little jogger shorts. So I got these in this like camely beige colour. If you guys are OGs and you've been here for a while, you'll know I live in the jogger shorts through the summer. Like wearing them at home, nice and comfy, I wear them to work, wear them out. Um, I'll be wearing them out at the weekend walking the dog. Like it literally, comfort is key and they are literally just the best. So I got these in an extra small and they were £7 got a black pair that I did a 10 ways to wear post on my Instagram so definitely check that out if you need some ideas on styling them I'll probably do a more updated one because that was about two years ago now so I will probably do a more updated version and just bring them up a little bit to speed but then yeah, I also got those in grey as well they had loads of different colours obviously I've already got some black ones and white ones so yeah I went for the beige and the grey and I just absolutely love them they're really like a nice like, light wash super comfortable got a drawstring which I absolutely love just because I find a lot of things don't really fit me around the waist so yeah really big fan of those they're perfect length as well they're not too long not too short and yeah again I got these in an extra small and they were seven pounds so yeah I'm just obsessed with those and then in that styling video, you will have just seen that I picked up this check shirt, which I think was £10. I got this in a size 12 for an oversized fit. And yeah, I'm just absolutely obsessed. It's actually quite a nice, like, thick, like, almost like a wool material. Um, and I just absolutely live in these. I feel like oversized shirts in the summer um, are like my comfort blanket. So just like when I'm wearing, if I was wearing an outfit a bit like this, obviously probably not this colour. But I would just chuck this on just as a little bit of comfort, keep me from feeling less exposed. And yeah, I went for this in a 12 so that it was a bit more oversized. And I just think this is going to go with everything. Um, so yeah, you will see me wearing this a lot over on my Instagram this spring, summer, and probably for the rest of my life because I've got a green one 
that I bought a couple of years ago from Topshop, like a khaki green, and I wear that all the time. Um, so yeah, just a big, big fan of this. Um, I think it's something that it doesn't like. It's never really going to date. Um, for ten pound, over the moon. If anything, I would have liked it to be a bit, a little bit bigger, but it was literally the last one on the rack. Um, I probably would have gone for like a 14 or a 16 just to make it super, super oversized. But the 12 will do, it's, it's perfect um, and I love it. Okay, and then the next thing that I picked up is this suit, um, which I'm really, really chuffed with because the trousers were £18 and the blazer was £28, which I know, it's, I know what you're thinking, it is a little bit pricey for Primark, but... The quality of it is absolutely incredible it the it's so thick like such a thick material the blazer's got nice big padding in the shoulders it's a double breasted blazer the button detailing is unreal um and i actually almost bought something really similar to this from zara last year which was well over a hundred pound so the price of this combined i think is a win i got the trousers in an eight and then I picked up the blazer in an eight as well, because on the hanger, it did actually look really big and oversized. But as you'll see in the video, it's a little bit more like fitted, which depending on the vibe that you're going for. So I've styled it here to fit the way that it actually fits. So this is more like a, like an occasion wear wedding guest type of outfit. Um, if I was to wear it personally, I would oversize in the blazer a little bit more. So I'd probably go for like a 12, maybe like a size 12. Um, just for a more oversized fit but if you're looking for wedding guests like spring summer wedding guest inspo which I know a lot of you are at the minute I've had a lot of people on my Instagram saying like asking for inspiration for that and this would be perfect um, really affordable imagine it with like a little fascinator it'd be perfect for the races um, or like I said like a spring summer wedding I feel like dresses are out and suits in at the minute for wedding guest outfits as well so definitely especially for spring um because obviously it can be quite hard sometimes to find like a long sleeve dress or a dress that's going to keep you warm um but yeah this is perfect so yeah i think depending on what you're going for um i would keep to your usual size in the blazer if it's for an occasion or if you want something a little bit cooler to like go out for like bottomless brunch or like drinks and stuff maybe size up in the blazer but the trousers are a perfect fit and like i said the quality is so good um so for 18 pounds for the trousers and 28 for the blazer i think that is such a steal they did do it in a few different colors as well um but that was the one that spoke out to me most and then i picked up this little skirt which was only 10 pound i think they did do a blazer to go with this a little cropped blazer um but the skirt for me was just absolutely incredible um it's got this it's got belt loops which I think is a win-win because I feel like a lot of the time stuff always comes about about loops and like it makes it really it makes it quite difficult to style and like make it feel different in a different outfit so yeah popping on a bow with that would completely transform an outfit um the colour just obsessed and yeah if I can get my hands on the blazer to go with it I'm definitely going to keep my eyes open to see if I can find it but yeah, like I said I got um this was £10 and I got it in a size 8 and actually it fits perfectly usually size 8s can be a bit hit or miss for me especially around the waist but it is the perfect fit and then I loved it so much that I picked it up in pink as well to be honest I'm not 100% sold on the pink because I feel like the green complements my wardrobe and like I've got a lot of things and ways to style it and like a lot of things that will go with it whereas with the pink I think it's very it's very different to anything that I've got and I'm finding it a little bit hard to find things to go with it for apart from just like standard like black top and heels um but I do absolutely love this colour especially for spring and summer so I'm going to keep hold of it and I'm going to see if I can find some different ways to wear it um and I'll let you guys know. Let me know in the comments if you've got an idea or anything that you think that will go with it. Because I do absolutely love the colour. But yeah, I just think I'm going to really struggle to get it to fit in with the rest of my wardrobe. I am trying to get more of like a capsule wardrobe at the minute. Um, so yeah, this pink is a little bit out of my comfort zone. She says wearing a full pink set <laughs> in this video. But then next is another absolute staple for me. And it is this oversized sweatshirt. 
um again i feel like a lot of the things in this video are things that i literally live in um and just staples um but i love the colors in this i'm absolutely obsessed with it especially this like dusky pink color so i got this in a small which is a 10 to 12 and it's actually really oversized i actually thought it was a medium looking at it um so yeah i think they are definitely getting i think a lot of places are definitely getting on board with the oversized trend now and you're not needing to size up so much because yeah i think if i got a medium in this it would have been absolutely massive um i think the only place that it's not so big is on the arms but yeah how cute are the colors in that um i think this was 11 pound i've already took the labels off because i've worn it already like literally like four times um it's just so nice and cozy so yeah they've got loads of different sweatshirts in at the minute and I know we're getting to like spring, summer, and it's probably not going to be the season. But as you see in the sun here, this is literally how I'd wear it in spring. When on the days where it's not too, it's not too cold, um, but it's not like warm. Um, so you don't need a jacket; you can still get your legs out. But yeah, nice and cute and comfy. And then the last piece of clothing that I got is this shirt, which I'm a little bit upset about because. Obviously, it is just a shirt, so I don't know why I was expecting it to be, like, really big and oversized. I got it in a 12 because I was hoping to wear it as a dress. Um, if you watch a lot of my hauls, you'll know this is literally my go-to, like, my staple bottomless brunch outfit. This type of oversized shirt um, with, like, a little belt, lace-up heels. I usually put a bandana on with it. Um, it's literally just an outfit it's literally just like a mix and match outfit that I always put together and it always just works well for me. I feel like it definitely suits me. So yeah, I'm a little bit upset because it is, the shirt is a little bit too small to wear as a dress. I feel like even with shorts on, it's just not big enough. Um, I definitely need like maybe a 14 or a 16. So I'm going to keep my eyes peeled and see if I can find it because I love the colours in this. Um, and it's just perfect to like mix and match with different things. So I've got... As you can see the cobalt blue bag it would go with my green zara bag it's got this like lime green color in it that you could pull out um so yeah i think there's a lot of possibilities with this um but yeah i think i definitely need it to be a little bit bigger if i wanted to wear it as a oversized shirt dress um but it's it was 18 pound and it's this really nice like soft silky material but to be honest 18 pound it's not even that good of a price point for Primark because I'm pretty sure of the shirts that I've had like this from H&M were around £17.99, £19.99. I'll leave some photos of the styling so that you can see because this is literally like my go-to outfit if I'm not sure what to wear. Um, but yeah, I do think it is really, really nice. It just needs to be a little bit bigger. And then in the sale, I actually picked up these boots. Um, for £10, can you believe it, £10, um, excuse the styling is a little bit more autumn winter based just because I'm probably going to put these aside ready for next autumn winter because I just don't think they're a very like summery boot, I'm sure there's ways that I can style it for summer, I probably maybe will try it out, especially coming into like festival season and stuff, but yeah, for £10 I literally couldn't say no, they also had them with a pink um, base but they didn't have my size in those, but yeah I just thought they were super super cute um and just like nice to just give a little green pop with the bag could put on i've got um a green crop gilet could do that um so yeah there are a few different possibilities with these for the season but definitely going in for autumn winter next year literally cannot wait and then the last um few bits that i got are these platform heels which i thought for summer are going to be absolutely incredible just imagine myself going out for a night out with the girls with just like a little white dress and these on i feel like they speak for themselves they were only 15 pound as well and i feel like they're so on trend this big nice platform is like everywhere at the minute um and yeah i just thought um thought maybe just with like a white dress as a little pop of pink um to go with it and then i also picked up this bag which i'm just obsessed with it's this like jute um like woven style little shoulder bag absolutely adore it and i thought how cute is that going to be as a little summer combo imagine that on holiday um yeah really really cute i didn't do a styling for this um but the bag was 10 pound and i'm just obsessed with it but yeah you can imagine little white dress bag the shoes um yeah um nice big statement earrings or something just super super cute 
and yeah just absolutely love um i feel like rather than wearing like an all pink outfit it's just it will just be nice to do like a little color pop bag and shoe combo but yeah that was everything that i picked up from primark like i said i'm gonna go back because i've seen some really cute bits on tiktok that i want to go and spy for myself i might do i might do another haul on my channel depending on how much i get if not everything will be on my instagram so i'll leave my handle on the screen so that you can check that out um but yeah hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if there's any pieces that you absolutely love or that you're running to primark to go and get but yeah thank you guys for joining me today and i hope that you did enjoy this video if you did please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and yeah hopefully i'll see you in my next video